Hi, me, trolls. There you go. That's my clap. Oh. And here comes my clap. That was a good clap, sir. And I'm going to be clap happy too. <laughs> That's what the doctor said. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking that and I thought, nah, should I say that? No, no, I'm not going to say that. I. Fun fact, that's one of my nicknames for my cousin. I call what? her Clap Happy. I have since I was like five. <laughs> oh, poor Chlamydia. <laughs> Hi, I'm the Space Quest Historian, and welcome back to uh, more co-commentary video goodness. Uh, this time I am joined by not one, but two lovely people who live on opposite sides of the world. Uh, and... It is uh, Natalie Yuhash. I got the name right. I, I just had to l think a little there. No. I didn't. <laughs> no. Crap. Okay, it's Rizulka. Great start. <laughs> <laughs> I got it right. No. It's a silent J. Silent oh. J, dear. Silent U J. Yuhash. Yuhash. Anyway, she's Australian. <laughs> Don't ask me how a J and a U make a D-U sound, but... Oh, those are good. Silent anyway, D or soft I'm D's Rizulka. in Danish. Yes, this is Rizulka. She is a game developer and a pedant for good pronunciation, which is all the more surprising she agreed to be on this shit with, with the rest of us. <laughs> um, so, uh, a brief uh, credit for Ms. Rizulka. I'm just going to call you that from now on to avoid any controversies. Um, designer of Lorna Baines, upcoming adventure game mystery set in the southern United States. Yes. Florida. Fl Florida. And uh, could you just quickly do the Lorna Baines voice just so we all... I, I can cut that out if <laughs> I'm you I'm Lorna Baines. <laughs> See, that That's works. That's good enough for you. That's perfect. And also joining us is a man of a lot of repute. I don't know how to say that any other way, but he's a, he's a fantastic person and he's very patient. And he <laughs> apparently... Uh, until this point, didn't mind being on the show, although that is probably about to change. It is Richard Cobbett, famed journalist Hi, and game writer. Hey, guys. Yes. Uh, in, in the Red Room of Death. Or not. It's See, only I, I, one wall. The others, the, the others are white, I promise. <laughs> I, you know, I, I could At just, the moment, anyway. I'm, I'm going to cut a lot of this introduction out. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, we are going to watch me play Phantasmagoria and uh, and talk about what a wonderful piece of interactive fiction this is. Now, truly a classic. Would you agree? Yes. <laughs> it's the pinnacle of Roberta Williams' work. Uh, they always say if you haven't got anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. So, um... Yes. This is, this is Richard sitting on his hands. I, and, uh... Just get yeah, on with and if it, you probably. want a blind let's play of it, I did one in 2009. Yes. Um, just head over to my channel. Yes, go to... Um, uh, we'll put a link in the uh, description of the video for Rizulka's channel, so you can go and watch that. Yes. <laughs> now that thing booms when I play it on my, uh, on my TV oh, yeah. downstairs. I didn't know you could boom that much in what is probably just 22 kilohertz 8-bit sound blaster. Sierra will do anything if they can. <laughs> Including breaking your speakers. <laughs> Mark Siebert is Best so proud of, of this. Yes, I'm, I'm trying to sort of uh, um, conduct the orchestra with my mouse, as you can see. <laughs> Does anybody else know this song? <laughs> uh, it's uh, Karl Orff's Common Burana, I think. Uh, just no, it's from Tumite Furore. Yeah. It's, uh, Ah, you oh. cut it out. Yeah, of course. Medite in fashionum, <laughs> o spiritus tenebarum. Oh, you even know the lyrics. Uh, well, it is oh, a I, know, I know the lyrics. Man ye yastel rote ubeo, implete hunk lapidem, implete eum viribus, so for astis vestris. Well, you are an encyclopedic. Cornucopia, which is, and it is, it is also infinitely more interesting than watching Don here Don, fish out his Don take a photo, photo of, of, his, of his own garage. Yes. But this is is that his own house? That's not what his house looks like, really. That That's he, what his house looks like. He was just taking pictures of, uh, you know, the surrounding area, the town folk, as he so disparagingly describes them later in the game. Now, he's got a tremendous zoom lens, I have to say. Mm. Yeah. 
I'm going to say, if, if you see this in your front hall, maybe don't buy the house. <laughs> also, his basement is very spacious. Yeah, and, and where are the lights coming from? The floor, it would and, seem. And, and that guy, after all. And the beating polygon heart and... <laughs> Richard has the soundtrack at home on 8-track. <laughs> Now here's something that this is... This is a very confused nightmare sequence. Yes, it is, but this is objectively yeah, is impressive. Is she inside herself or is oh. she outside of herself? Oh, oh thank God. God, that nightmare's over. I'm absolutely sure this isn't a jump scare in the waiting. I hope nothing else happens. This is a very long time to keep... Uh, what is this thing and why is it in our bedroom? <laughs> and here comes the true horror. Waking up next to Don. Yes, and his chest hair. I was just going to say, the, 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 the truly, uh, objectively impressive thing is uh, the motion capture that they did uh, in that opening scene with uh, her sitting in the chair and everything else being... Because, you know, moving the camera back in these days was a nightmare. Well, it's, yeah. kind, of, it's kind of easier when you're sort of setting a sort of big empty void, which... Is... <laughs> well, yes, but uh, I think Phantasmagoria is the You don't ever first... have to be afraid of anything again, except me. <laughs> he said, staring at her with his evil demon eyes. <laughs> um, no, I, th I think oh, what's a lovely couple. I'm sure that nothing could possibly go wrong. <laughs> There's a Side lot of move. slightly Side too sexy for YouTube. <laughs> Is it really? Because I, I know I know it's censored if you put the game into censored mode, but uh, it's technically side boob. There's no visible nipples, so I'm just gonna leave it. Yeah. <laughs> it's no Phantasma Gloria too. Ah, that is true. There is an actual full boob in that shock. Hide the kids. And for some reason, you have to actually uh, view introduction first, and then it spits you back to the main menu, and then you're supposed to get in and actually. I like the fact you can go right to the end if you want, and just don't have to play the game at all. That is yeah, true. Few, few games of time to that. Like under a killing moon, did the same thing. You could just go right to the last scene and just watch the ending. Yes, it had save games in it that you could just load, and uh, it, but it wouldn't give you any sort of preparation as to what it is you were supposed to do. It had a little description. Oh, you, you, you literally just have to click on a thing. So. Morning, honey. Yeah. Good morning, sweetheart. And Torrance Passage yeah. did the same thing as well, and yeah. I think that was it. Somebody kept me up last night. Well, Must have been the tremendous I echo in this kitchen. <laughs> yeah, well, this entire house, really. These chairs, oh, no. their bed upstairs being pointed at a corner instead of against a wall. Yes, I noticed that yeah. as well. Um, everything sounds yeah, suspiciously like it's been recorded strange. in a very, very large There's room. Different. With a mm -hmm. lot of acoustics. This place must have been really bizarre. Yeah. All right, who gave him a cigarette against the blue screen? Oh, kitty! Now, should we briefly he talk about? Wants to be there so much. Oh doing? yes, definitely. <laughs> Let's briefly talk about the fact that they named their cat Spaz. That maybe um, a little exploring. Would that be acceptable by today's standards? I Have you wonder. Seen that bathroom yet on the second floor? Because hmm. I recall getting scolded like on Twitter for saying that. Let's not touch that. No. Actually, I shouldn't even I shouldn't even mention that example. But I did get scolded for using uh, the word spastic to describe something entirely non-human. So uh, you learn something new every day. Yeah, it's and that very, cat is leaving us. It's a very bad oh, word in the UK. It used to be a charity called the Spastic Society, and they had to rename themselves Scope. Oh. oh. Yeah. So naming your cat Spaz, please don't do that in this day and age. Or the sidekick from Just Jackrabbit too. <laughs> ah yes. Oh, I remember yeah. that. Yeah, I gave you that. Ah, and the snowman. Ah. Uh, rat? The one MacGuffin that they set up very early in the game. So early, in fact, that you will completely have forgotten it by the time you actually need to use it. Yes. And you go like, what What the hell is a snowman doing here? Of course I do. <laughs> well, you, you don't buy people random kind of Christmas decorations when it's clearly not Christmas. <laughs> no, especially when I think that she said it was like in conjunction to like a, a wedding or an anniversary or something. It's a weird <laughs> gift to be giving. It's like well, one single right. Christmas ornament. It's like, yes, dear, the tree is finished. It looks lovely, doesn't it? And, and also, he's just taken like a porcelain snowman thing and put it in his vest. I'm afraid he's going to crush it. And that snowman is going to survive a lot uh, in the upcoming days. So, also, well, it's time to go and explore this house that we bought. <laughs> we didn't bother having a look at it at all. No, we just bought it furnished and all with a giant crab-like uh, dinner table or whatever the fuck that's supposed to be. Oh god, I forgot about how loud the music is, randomly. Mm. Yes, I have tried to adjust it as I was playing, but 
Um, it is yeah. it is tremendously loud, and then it goes really, really soft, and then you turn it up again, and then it goes really loud. At okay, different... since, since nothing's going to happen for about five hours. Yes. Which which would you rather have, this house or the one in Darkseed? I think Darkseed because at least that that's set up like a normal house. I mean, I I really like this one, but I think the Darkseed, you know, the portal to the other world, has great storage potential. <laughs> Yes, I would agree with that. Oh yeah, there that. is that. And I do. But, if, you, uh, if you have unwelcome guests, you, you just you just go and touch that mirror, quickly cover it up, and you're kind of you know you got the rest of the evening to yourself. Yeah, you got you got annoying house guests. Just shove them through the mirror. What, what, everything what, will be fine. What's with these cans? Shy gypsy slides. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't get that either. Um, maybe we should go consult the book in the library. <laughs> Seventh guest reference for everyone. Yes, have I a would. Library? I would. I would prefer the um, um, the dark seat house as well, just because I'm really fascinated by alternate dimensions. And sadly, the only alternate dimensions in this house are just uh, you can't pass through them, and in invariably someone gets murdered in them. So that's always a bad thing. Yeah, yeah. that's uh, that's got to bring but the. But house at least price you don't down, randomly surely. fall asleep there. <laughs> I, I just genuinely want to know how they managed to afford this place because this is. Yes. Oh, it, it has to have been something that was selling for a dollar, like one of those crazy sales. Yeah, they do go mm. and visit that realtor at some point, and, and they do say, wow, it's a big place. Uh, we really got that for cheap, didn't we? <laughs> yes, he says, winking and knowingly. You suckers, <laughs> indeed. But even as a well, kid, yeah, Mike, Mike, a kid playing this, yeah. and you just Mike. go, a writer and a photographer, and they have this, I mean, what the fuck is this grand hall uh. thing? This looks like something out of Eyes White Shut. I, I, and you were saying that they didn't have another dimension in the house. I mean, this this room <laughs> clearly the TARDIS looks at this and goes bullshit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and why is it so sparingly furnished inside this grand hall? And there's this tiny little bar over in the corner, which just basically looks like yeah. a bits of plywood. And why that's why been is the shed. bar by the front door? Yeah, that's weird too. It's like you know, welcome to our house. Get drunk. <laughs> well, it's next to the theater, so um, one would ah, think yes. that. Uh, I guess that's where people go during intermission. Yes, wow, the bowl changed the... size! Yes, and it will do that. Uh, <laughs> every I hear time it makes the heart grow fonder. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> References are flying fast here. Um, <laughs> it's actually pretty impressive that he would have an entire theater built with all these uh, secret passages. Uh, we, we told you there'd be spoilers. And, yeah. and they just put this thing on the market and apparently no one's been in here to like inspect the wiring or just look through the place at all. This was back in the 90s when realtor just meant I have a big cigar and I just sell keys to houses. And I like well, we, we, we meet the realtor, don't we? I mean, he is a scumbag. Yeah. Damn it. I mean, oh, so maybe maybe, maybe scumbag. he's just sold this house like a hundred different people. They all <laughs> die and then he just kind of like covers it up. It's like, you know, well, oh, it... there's, there's no mad magician, ghost and demon at all. Even, even when Who is the even ghost selling man... this house? The owners are dead. Does it belong to the state? And then why is the state selling it so cheaply? That is a very excellent question because clearly the previous owner didn't leave behind... Uh, well, he did leave behind one semi-relative. That's the boy he basically abducted. And he doesn't want to live there in the slightest. Uh, so I think I think the realtor is in on this. I think the realtor, um, mm. when Zoltan was still alive, uh, I mean, Zoltan didn't go on any dating sites. He didn't go out and, uh, you know, uh, he, basically the realtor just said, well, there's a house opening. There's a house. Uh, uh, it's basically an Airbnb situation. You can go and live with this crazy old man. You can marry him if you like. Just don't expect <laughs> to stick around for very long. Wink, wink. Eat cigar. Hey, Don't worry, we'll get rid of that creepy picture over the fire. <laughs> and also Dawn. Throw it into the fire. <laughs> and also Dawn. Ah, yes, there is something I want to ask about this cat in a future episode that I've... That's really been bothering Stop me for that. a long time. But I am I'm gonna leave that as foreshadowing. That, that cat, cat did not hate you. Yes, that cat did not want there's a there's a future scene where she picks it up and puts it in her lap and you can just see it clawing at her thighs, just going, Get off of me. <laughs> Also, oh, this... I should go and get the keys for this house that we bought and own. <laughs> yes, but first I should or pick up the phone that keeps it. ringing. Oh, wait, that's the music. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, was genuinely... it, it, I was genuinely confused when they said, oh, you know, we'll have to get the, you know, the guy in to do the phone. I'm like, but the phone's been ringing the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> no one's picking it up and it's ringing it throughout the entire house. But... Hello, Curtis Craig here, just setting up the sequel. <laughs> 
Ah, yes. And I know this is a relic from, you know, ye olden oh, days. A I want to be big! <laughs> Damn it, Richard! I was gonna say that! <laughs> but, I think everyone says that at this point. And, and, but what I wanted to get at was, at no point during this entire game does it ever dawn on Adrian that this thing isn't even plugged in. It doesn't even have a power lead. <laughs> She just puts a, and, and the, and the uh, token just pops out every morning for some contrived reason. And this Fortune is tellers are not real. Once <laughs> more. <laughs> and then she crumples it up and throws it Tomorrow's away. Those lottery numbers are. <laughs> I love that she like they have like a little bin perfectly here for this. Yeah, it's just a little Crap. vase. <laughs> Fuck this. You, you never empty that bin, Adrian. You've never that, emptied that, that it. That bin which looks as serving like a spittoon. Yes. <laughs> Dust, doesn't it? That is Very small one, though. Big old tap. And this house is immaculate, considering that it's basically been left in disrepair for a long while. Or maybe the ghosts are just doing some keep up while. You know. Yeah. Yeah, maybe it's like, it's like kind of like rent a ghost or so haunt me or something. There's just, yeah. you know, the, the, the magical elements to keep it in perfect condition <laughs> however in exchange they like, have to keep all of the creepy pi pictures up around the place yes and if you and try also to everything that they've left behind yes so if it's you, like you, you get rid of that picture of the, of the lovely debbie mcgee and suddenly uh this entire room just collapses into squalor <laughs> you know maybe if they hadn't have bought the house maybe they if they inherited it like you know ha stuff already being here would have made more sense yeah, it's, I, mean, it's, I still think the most terrifying thing in this entire game is the idea that Adrian is a writer uh, using the laptop that we see her with in her, in her bedroom. Yeah. You know, because that is that is a worst torture device in anything in Carlo's repertoire. <laughs> I don't know, the oh, uh, Adrian, the, the grab-ass no bed. Sitting. Yes, she, she enjoys sitting. Now, I have to bring up some technical uh, questions, really, questions, uh, because as you can see, there are a lot of extraneous walking up looking vacantly and at things sitting down on things um and this game came on seven cd roms in in ye olden days which is a lot but all, all think seven... of all the cds they could have saved without them yes all the extraneous movie scenes of course had to be copied onto each cd because in every chapter you can walk up to piece bits of furniture and sit down on them and they have to you know, fill up the CD space with this extraneous piece of FMV. Uh, do well, you have, you have, have you ever played Under a Killing Moon um, in its original form? Uh, because you basically can't go between rooms without needing a CD change? Yes, yes I have. And uh, the Pandora Directive kind of alleviated that by putting that little oh, diamond that, that, that fixed it, but yeah. Under a Killing Moon was a mess of that. And let's just uh, consider for a second while she reads aloud this completely innocuous letter. Uh, Under a Killing Moon was originally meant to be on three CDs, and then they actually boosted it up to four because they had just enough content to fill a fourth CD, and then decided to copy a lot of often used files between the CDs. So originally, Under a Killing Moon was even worse. Mm. Yes, I knew a piece of trivia. I wonder why she didn't send that. Yes, I wonder why it's just in a yeah, drawer for me to pick up. It's a wonder why they seem to keep copies of all the letters they've ever written. Yes. My beloved, I've just invented a machine called the photocopier. I am trying it out on my uh, letters of love. <laughs> I, I hope I'm leaving one day, this letter where I hope my that, husband might find it. Yes, I hope exactly. that one day a blonde lady who only buys orange t-shirts will find it, and it may give her some insight into the life which I had before I was horribly murdered by a back. demon. It is weird. I think the ghosts may Not have been so fun in a... fact, these are Victoria Morsell's actual clothes that she mm. auditioned in. Yeah. And hopefully Again, washed. Again, that painting has to go. <laughs> yeah. It is It is one of the more, more innocuous paintings that you'll find around the house. At least he has kind of a smirk to him. Carno douche more like. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I want to be stuff, but I'm not really. Also, I'm this... cynical about this photo session. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, I've already been slapped with goo and been in a blue screen studio for seven days straight. I don't want this picture taken. Ah, oh, yeah, what, I, 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 think, I think what I like about this. Oh, there's a cricket in the room. Is, I think what I like about this chapter is, is, is where the Adrian is kind of constantly waiting for something to happen. <laughs> it, it, it's like you, you sort of sit down. It's like kind of cutscene, monster, jump scare. No, okay. Um, I'll go and I'll, I'll wash my hands. 
Maybe yes. it'll be a bit like that bit in Ghostbusters 2. Nope, I just have clean hands. Uh, record player. Ah, ABBA! You know, it, it's... <laughs> You know, you, you, you're, just, you're, just, you're just waiting for that that kind of sort of moment to, to strike. There are a lot you of... You know, at that point that I would have found that ring, I would have put it on. There, there's a lot of... That's where you just totally go, going on eBay. <laughs> why, why am I just standing around and, and not even, like, as the player, you're sitting there waiting to regain control. Like, really just, okay, I think we get it. You're, you're confused or you have just uh, experienced something that was weird. Uh, do you really have to shuffle around for 20 minutes before I regain mouse control, please? Do we actually have to look at Kano's underpants to progress this game? <laughs> yes. Yes. Yes, we do. And, and those, those are, skid marks. Those are moldy and... This had, better be, this this had better be ectoplasm. <laughs> well, speaking of ectoplasm... Oh, is something happening? Yes, because oh, no. the game Scary just thing? switched... This game switched the revolu- resolution to 320 Waiting. by 200. Oh, no, it's Gotta just a try it on another bed. Mm. Uh, the story goes that they actually... You know, considering all these beds, <laughs> why did they choose the bedroom upstairs with, you know, their own shitty bed? That oh, this, this isn't a weird way of lying down or anything. No. Like, why wouldn't you pick the master bedroom? Well, I don't know. Them- if you do have the horrible picture on the wall. I mean, that would kind of get in the way. There is the... Yeah, but they moved the... in. They could, they could have moved that to a different room. Oh dear! The wall, the bed actually has hey, holes in it. Hey! Stage hands no, are no getting to second base! Yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Oh. I actually, I, I thought for the longest time... I like time the fact that... Suddenly thinking about Labyrinth's, um, the helping hands on the wall. See, I, I like the way that the added video effects make it harder to see what's going on and therefore scarier. <laughs> I mean, this was actually when I played this game for the first time. That was actually. Done! Oh wait, the walls have the same. God, I hope that's not memory walls. foam. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but this, this was the first time when I went. All right, this game may have something, and then those expectations were quickly squashed in the ensuing right. two or three, okay? four hundred hours <laughs> we just spent walking back and forth from this <laughs> town to here. <laughs> I like his reaction there because that is really here, calm yes. Down. The calm bed down. did what now? Wait here. Wait here. All right. The bed grabbed me. Well, the whole house grabbed us, darling. That's why we bought it. <laughs> it's okay, Ela. See, Look, I'm gonna lie down and get a hand job from it. <laughs> Wait, so one of those ghost hands just yanks on his ponytail. Your imagination, uh, going, love. It? Now he does. I mean, let's just get this out of the way. Oh, right Dan, now. my 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 female silliness is. Clearly got into overdrive. Sure. Yes. Yes. No. Oh, a little bit of no touch under the chin kind of Calm thing. Down. Oh. Calm okay. down. He's not even possessed yet. Can we just agree that he's got a real Jack Nicholson vibe going on, like in The Shining? He you, is a dick. You know this person is going to snap. He's just, you can see it in his eyes, even in a 320 by 200 resolution. This dude's just going to snap. <laughs> <laughs> I, I keep, I keep Bye, for, Connor! I keep waiting coffee. for Adrian to kind of look at the screen after all this. Is like, player, I married him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why either. Uh, and, uh, yes, go her, for the chair. Yes. Go for the chair. Now that looks comfy. Yes. And it's actually not an electrical chair, although, uh, per Rizulka's suggestion, I did poke at it a lot. Was just seeing yes. It. Now, here's, here's what sound design can do. Now, really, all she's doing is just adjusting her clothes unnecess- for an unnecessarily long time. And there's just a fake little uh, photo, no, not, not even Photoshop, deluxe paint little in the background. But the sound the, the sound actually makes it slightly spooky. <laughs> See, here's what I want to know about this one. What was the trick? Because it, most of Kano's stuff is like kind of like magic tricks, kind of rigged Ow. to kind of kill people. But I, I can't think of a trick which would involve pretending to force feed somebody like their weight in ground beef. Well, yes, it, it just... but he, he also seems to be a collector of uh, torture things. So hmm. I, I, he probably had he probably used this in an act at some point where he was just strapped in and had to escape before something, you know. Whatever. Gun in the tower around. <laughs> <laughs> what I want to know is why it's it's electrified. All of the other so, so-called so ghostly objects are just sitting there. Some of them rumble a bit, but this one is, is straight up electrified. Now, there's no electricity involved in any... Hey, Dan. Dear God. You're in a very I'm poorly rendered sexy. room. Hey, <laughs> hey, I'm leaning against cardboard. I'm so hoping it doesn't fall over. No, nothing sets a mood quite like cleaning drains. <laughs> and not wearing bras. 
Sorry, I just. Well, Dylan doesn't really just need one. Just that. No, well, Dylan. Is a, well, if kind of. Also, is that sink just huge, or is it just me? Yes, I'm, well, yes, you are, you are I said huge. sink. Like, if you look at like the actual force, it, it's bigger than his hand. Yes, it is ginormous. Now, I, I, I'm not really into like uh, normal photography. Uh, that came out wrong. I mean, like straight up film developing photography. Um, now, I would shut up so we could hear what they're saying. But actually, if you're playing the game, you still can't hear what they're you saying can't really because understand. the microphone is like way off in a different building, and it is impossible. The game really needed subtitles. Tremendously. Uh, shit, where, where was I going with my original point? Something, something. Um, the room keeps changing size also. Yeah. Now there's nothing wrong, oh. darling. And now you're just putting it on Don's face. <laughs> what are we laughing at? I'm we totally tell. gonna kill you later in like 15 <laughs> different ways. There, It'll be such fun. There is such cause for concern. I got too, you a drain cleaner right here. <laughs> <laughs> There's cause for concern because every time she's done doing something, she just stands up straight and looks off into space. She doesn't even look at her husband or anything. Which I know. Well, would you? No, not really. Ah, here it is. Well, it's, a, it's an interesting um, choice that uh, Sarah seemed to make with a lot of their FMV games where it's just like, stand like you've still got the coat hanger in your shirt. Oh. Yes, exactly. Jeez. Now here's one where the ambience doesn't really do much of anything. Because uh, no. the, the thing was clearly old, and you're, we don't suspect any supernatural goings on here. Well, we it, have, it, it's, we have it's just been accosted by a giant bed. You would think that would be cause for concern, not a fucking well, it, teddy bear. Well, it's also, it's also the, if it's like the, the devil is going around kind of taking the heads off teddy bears, that's kind of a, a little <laughs> beneath the cause of evil. It's a little Easter egg there if you click seven times on huh? Yeah. That happens, <laughs> which is, <laughs> um, which is infinitely that more is, scary than this weird blob hanging over the crib. Well, exactly. It, it's like the supernatural quince of Billy Bass Fish. <laughs> and yet, she just puts her hand in it, like, yeah, oh, yes. like this is not. Yes, I'm enjoying this. Now, here, here's a couple of brief what even points. Is this thing? Uh, she said she was accosted by a bed. Uh, Don ran in and went, "Oh, honey, it's just a nightmare. You'll be fine." Mom, here's something it? that she could just bring him up and show him. <laughs> There is something mm. supernatural hanging above this weird cribby thing. Um, and also, and also who that. would put a baby in a room with this window? Oh, yes. Yeah. With one window as well. It's like, no, no natural light's not good for children. <laughs> we like them to have rickets. Also, it's the only room in the entire house that's a little bit decrepit. A little bit of peeling wallpaper and stuff. It's also quite a far away from the bedroom. Like, their bedroom. Yeah. And baby monitors, I'm guessing they weren't really a big thing, at least not in Carno's days. Ooh, I'm the keyhole ghost. Why, there's a key stuck in the <laughs> Does keyhole. Does that come with a dental pen? Oh, no. oh no, it's that puzzle, yeah. isn't it? Yes, oh, I'm so... I was, I was going to Ma say... Mas Master storyteller Roberta Williams <laughs> has already resorted to this puzzle. See, I'm already this sort of foreshadowing it. Design work. Yeah, so you can't Truthfully, just... Truthfully, she will be proudest of this game for the rest of her career. <laughs> Admittedly, the rest of her career will consist of King's Quest Mask of Eternity, but Which... still, this is the low point. Mm, yes, I think we can all... Agree. Oh, yeah! Yeah! Phantasmagoria, I mean, shit happens. <laughs> <laughs> well, in the first instance, just, just piss. Oh, wait! Maybe I skipped the uh, first Easter egg. I didn't hear any bodily noises. No. I uh, did not hear the uh, hereditary uh, diarrhea. Well, let's. Uh, runs in her jeans. Well, it, it kind of. Oh, there it is. No, that's just a I think we're just showing this to show that. I think it must have been there. I think we were just talking over it because. I mean, Rizulka, can you take us through this amazing Easter egg that you can trigger on every day, every chapter of this game? Well, basically. Uh, you can make Adrian, uh, have a bit of a bodily issue. <laughs> a different and bodily issue for each day, it. too. It is. You, uh, on some days she just has a wee, and in others she has a phenomenal woo. <laughs> yes, I, I decided oh, to fast yeah, forward to this. on that hand cream. Because I don't... Phew. Talking about back extraneous back, back animation. Oh, yeah. Now we gotta get through it all. Maybe one of them's a trigger. 
Gotta wash our hands. It's only everyone was this fast. <laughs> <laughs> there are People some bits. Rushing around slap, 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 slap. Some bits of this game I just turned up the speed to like. Uh, she just walked through straight through a closed door. I think there was a slight little yeah, glitch there. She's magic like that. Yeah. Now this screen comes back to uh, the uh, uh, the room of barely anything happening. Yes. Uh, but the uh, the tiny little hallway screen. That one's a bitch because the two rooms I are so close together. You all, I always end up clicking on the wrong fucking room. I would like this room. I would like this just just on the top of my house. I yes. mean, it might like stand out a bit, but I think you really really kind of cool to and read it. I think it would be yeah. a lot of upkeep uh, with the all the marble. the painting that slowly changes, but at the end of it, you go, I don't really see it. <laughs> well, there's a fish. There's a fisherman getting closer, and oops, no, wrong haunted painting. Yeah. Yeah. Also, uh, at, by the time that it actually turns into something slightly recognizable, you've been hearing about demon this, evil that for seven goddamn CDs. So, I'm not, always not really much of a surprise. By, I'm always quite impressed by how well the forces of evil paint those spooky pictures. Yes, and mm. they and they have time yeah, to do like, it. I think just once I'd like to kind of see them sort of try it, but it's just like a, a big kind of cartoon face with a a, a big <laughs> like like ah you know drawn on it. <laughs> Yeah, it's a little, little what is propeller hat. The giant, what the is giant this glass bill to everyone. Did she just say "What is this thing?" twice, or was that Rizulka? <laughs> that that is the like the tagline of this game, isn't that? Of, yeah. isn't that? What is this thing, Phantasmagoria? <laughs> yes, uh, I, th I think Richard uh, described okay. the uh, object in question as as good as you know I can. It is a giant glass dildo that looks severely uncomfortable. I've oh, seen can... this. Yeah, rubbish show. Again, why is their bed pointed at the corner of the room? That just seems like wasting space. But they have maybe so they much space. I know the house is huge. Well, maybe, maybe they're just bad sleepers and kind of it kind of got knocked into that position. Oh, also, there the, we are. The torture, they... the torture machine. <laughs> the walls changed color. Can you imagine color? writing yeah, like novels and things that. on oh, that? God, you'd rather have a typewriter. Also, there's no electrical outlet, so yeah. she's basically just hoping this thing will run through her entire tenure at this house on one charge. It, it, it's, it's like when, yeah. when when Don Spoiler destroys it, I'd like to think it's the demon kind of going, no, 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 claim on insurance. <laughs> you know, I'm doing you a favour. Get a, a yes. proper PC in here. You can yes. even play some of the fine games from Sierra Don. Online. <laughs> and Don? Has anyone seen this scene before? Don, is there a toilet over there? <laughs> See, I was really hoping because you can stay in that room forever and he'll just sit there. Eventually he'll sort of get up and go, oh, hi, Adrian. And then he'll just keep pooping in the corner. <laughs> All right, so uh, we are coming up at yeah. the end of this episode. This has been uh, a really fantastic house tour. I, I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, at least the three of us seem to have enjoyed it. Slightly. Quickly, through the Stargate! And, <laughs> and welcome to the town we cannot pronounce ever. So no Beep characters in the game. No, no character in I the just, game. I like actually to call it does. Nincompoop. Welcome yes. to Nincompoop. That's a go. Yeah, that's good. It sounds more Lovecraftian than it is. <laughs> <laughs> and thus we come to the absolute end conclusion of the first episode. Uh, thank you for. I'm looking at the camera right now. Uh, Thank you for watching this. Uh, please like, subscribe, do whatever your kids do. Do leave us a comment because we genuinely love the comments. We promise this game will start making a lot more sense in the coming episodes. At least slightly. I don't know what your take is on that. Will it? <laughs> no, I just pretty much just shook my head at that. So. <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah. And, and Richard rolled his eyes in that inimitable way he always does. Um... I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, thank you. Uh, check back. <laughs> check back next Wednesday. We promise. It's it's all things are actually going to happen. All right. So I'll see you around the Chrono stream. <laughs>